What branch of service were you in? Army. Uh, Army. Did, were you drafted or you delighted? Drafted. <laughs> you remember what, what month and year? It was in September of 1944. Okay. Where were you living at the time? I was living at a Bagley address. Oh, okay. About a mile down the road from here. You, I'm sorry, you said you signed up or you drafted? I drafted. Okay. Where did you go when you got your draft notice? Well, where did you have to ship to? Texas. Oh, Texas for basic training? Yeah. Holy. Oh. Camp Hood, Texas. You, you think something would be closer than that? You think so. <laughs> okay. What area did they have you train in when you were in basic training? What, what area? Yeah, were you a rifleman or what? R uh, rifleman, yeah. Okay, now when you left basic training, did you go to advanced training or where did you go then? From there I went to uh, uh, Fort Ord, California for some, some advanced training. What was the training in, do you recall? Well, it was still rifle, rifleman. Still rifleman, yeah. okay. And then from there to, to Fort Lawton, Washington. Where Shipping out to <laughs> Pacific. <laughs> okay, then is that Fort Lewis, Washington? Fort Lawton. Fort Lawton, I didn't know that was there. How much time did you spend there? About a week, not much time. Then what happened? Then we boarded the ship and sh shipped to to Hawaii for two weeks. Okay. For advanced training there. And then loaded the ship to to uh, Saipan. Oh. And then more advanced training there. <laughs> and then we finally ended up in Okinawa. How After much the, time did you spend in Saipan? About two weeks. Well, maybe that wasn't very much. A week and a half, maybe. And then you ended up in Okinawa? Yeah. What did you do there? Same thing, rifleman. Oh, more training? <laughs> yeah, more, well, no other ba battle there, you know. Well, the, the island hadn't been taken yet, or what? What? The, the island hadn't been taken. Was, was the army was the army in in Guam at the time? The army was in Okinawa. Okinawa, okay. They, they had invaded on the first of April. Were you part of that invasion? I wasn't in the invasion. Until about two weeks later. So it was still kind of messy then. Two weeks. The, oh later. yeah, it was. It was a hard battles until June. And your rifle company was in the battle? Yeah. Well, I was a, re I was a replacement. Okay. And I was replaced to 7th to, uh, Division in uh, on, on, on Okinawa. No. So then your, your company was involved in a land battle? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Trying to take the island. Get the island, yeah. What did you end up doing then? You have to come ashore by... Small boat or what? Uh, landing craft. Landing craft, yeah. I had to remember everything. <laughs> yeah, were were you when you came ashore? Were you fired upon then? Not right then, no. How long were you there then before things got hot? Well, the next day. <laughs> next day. Yeah. So what happened then? But then we were, we're under Japanese attack from then on. <laughs> Wow. I was head demolitions man okay. and uh, flamethrower man <laughs> and head scout. This, this is something you knew? Yeah. Did you ever get wounded in battle? Oh yeah. yeah. Once or more? Once. Once. You got a purple heart for it? Yeah. Okay. So how long were you fighting there? Until June 22nd. And you got there when again? What month? Uh, April, May? June. June 22nd. That's when, the, that's when the shooting stopped? Yeah. Okay, but how long were you on the island? Until uh, September. Oh, you got there from June and you're there till September? We got there in April and got there until September. Okay, but the, f the fighting was over. You got there in, September, in April, but the fighting was over by June. Yeah. But you had to fight from April until June then? Yeah. Uh, how did you survive so long? It wasn't easy. <laughs> well, I guess it wasn't. <laughs>
I mean, uh, uh, were you a rifleman all the time? No, I was a demolition. Oh, demolition then, okay. Yeah. What, was, what was your job to blow up? Caves, anything, anything to blow up, they get me to blow it up, so. <laughs> but how could you go into a cave and not be shot at? Well, you had to be kind of sneak in, you know. <laughs> oh, wow. How many caves did you blow up? Oh, I don't know, <laughs> many of them. How did, how did you know then it was safe for you to go in there and not be shot at? Well, you, ne you never know that. Yeah. You have to take a chance. You, you, were, yeah. ahead. you were ahead. Did you say you were ahead of the group? Yeah. You were yeah. yeah. Ahead. So then you were ahead of what group? Demolition. Okay. What did you use then for demolition? What was the product? 20 pound, 25 pound blocks of TNT called satchel charges. Satchel charge. Yeah. Okay. You set it off with electrical fuse or a. Well, you just pull a pin and. The, oh, one. Yeah. So you throw the satchel charge in, pull you a pin and. Pull a pin and throw it in and wait till it bang. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. And it hurt in the ears. <laughs> yeah. Where where were you when you got hit with a bullet or? Well, I was I was leading a bunch of men into a. Uh, on a uh, patrol, and I uh, just started out, and I, I saw a rifle barrel falling every move I made, and I told the, I told the men, I said, you better get back, and they, they didn't have more than a split second until I was bombed with uh, mortar shells, and three of us, three of us, they got hit, four of us got hit with them. With the mortar travel. Yeah, you know, my best friend got killed in that one. Where did the shrapnel hit you? In the neck and throat and chest and arms. <laughs> How'd they get you back so fast the first day? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Were you unconscious, do you know? No. Okay, did you have to walk back or somebody carry you? Well, they, they came with an airplane and hold me out in an airplane. <laughs> oh, they did? Were you inside or were you outside the airplane? In, inside the airplane. Inside the airplane. How long were you in the hospital? One, one day. That's it? That's it. <laughs> the shrapnel didn't penetrate deep enough, they could get it out easy? Well, they didn't get it out, they just left it. Okay. They were so short of men, they said, if you're going to walk, go out and get back. So I had to get back with my men up there again. <laughs> Is that shrapnel there today? It's still there. It's still there? Yeah. Does it bother you? No. Can't feel it. How many pieces of shrapnel do you have in your body? I suppose about six, seven pieces. Oh. Now you had to go back, and you went back the same, doing the same thing as you were doing before. Yeah. I finally blew I blew up their ammunition dump. So. <laughs> oh, Japanese. Yeah. <coughs> that ended ended the fighting. <laughs> they didn't have any anything to shoot with. You mean your group of guys, or you, blew up a Japanese? I, I blew up the Japanese ammunition dump. When you, when, when you threw the satchel in, how'd you get away far enough? Oh, I run like heck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. So your team, you guys, once you took out the ammunition dump, the, the, the Japanese couldn't fight anymore because they didn't have the ammo? Well, they did very little after that. So how long did it go after that? A week or so before they ran out? A couple of days. Oh, a couple of days? Yeah. Did they give up or what? Yeah, they uh, they got uh, sealed in a big cave up there. <laughs> oh, sealed in the cave. The, the, the Japanese generals they got sealed up and they couldn't do anything anymore, so they had to surrender them. <laughs> oh, they were they were hiding in a cave. Yeah. And then they surrendered. They had regular living quarters in their caves there. Sure, sure. Then they they were prisoner of war then. No, they were sealed in the cave. Oh, the cave entrance closed? Everything clo closed on them. They, why did it close? They're still there because they got blown up. <laughs> oh, so, oh, this is different than the ammunition dump then? Yeah. Oh, so the entrance was blown up? Yeah. So they couldn't get out? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know who blew it up. I didn't blow it up, but oh. somebody did. <laughs> somebody did. And that was the end of the fighting then? Yeah. Okay, where did you go, how, where, where did you go next once you left the island? Went to Korea. 
for the occupation forces in Korea. Oh. How long were you there? I was there till April of 1946. Oh, the, the war is over then, by that time? Oh, yeah, yeah. When did the war end? Where, where were you when the war came to an end? I was on Okinawa. You were on Okinawa? Yeah. And how did you find out the war was over? Nah. <laughs> somebody tell you, a radio? or We heard on the radio. Okay. And everybody was shooting all over there, we were excited, you know. Yeah, well, sure. Well, tell them you knew about the bomb before they before it hit. How'd you know about the bomb before it hit? We we heard about it on the uh, Stars and Stripes mag uh, the papers we used to get there. Yeah. <coughs> so how'd you hear about the bomb before it uh, got dropped? Well, we didn't until it went off, you know. Oh, okay, okay. And then, then you left Okinawa after the war was over, and then you got assigned to Korea. South Korea. For yeah, yeah. Occupation force. Were the Japanese still in South Korea? They were there, yeah. So how how'd you get them out then? Well, that's our job to be sure they moved out. You know, they were peaceful then. So they had to go on board a ship to go home. Yeah. So it was, it was your outfit's job to make sure they got on the ship. I was with them, yeah. Did you go on the ship with them? No, 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 oh. no. So once once all the Japanese had left South Korea, you were still there for a while. Yeah, about six months okay. until until April, anyway. As an occupation force. Yeah. Then where did you go next? Well, then I went home. <laughs> oh, okay. So you went by ship to where? San Francisco or Seattle? Seattle. Back to Fort Lawton. And then back to where? And then to to uh, Camp Campbell, Kentucky. And that's where you got discharged? No, and then we went to uh, Illinois. Uh, what lo what fort were you at when you got discharged from the army? Mm. Remember? Fort. What state was it in? Yeah, Illinois. Okay. Did just, you, just north of Chicago. Okay, then you came back to Bagley? Yeah. From there? Yeah. So how much, how many years did you finally put in? Any about three About years? close to two years. Two years, okay. Were there any, 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 any battles, battles you were in that had you pretty nervous? I mean, it makes you wonder if you're going to be, if you're going to last. Oh, a lot of that, man, no. Any bayonet uh, no. fighting? Just just no. a, just rifle firing. How about heavy artillery firing? Were you involved in that? Not no. But part of your it's team. on the wrong side of it. Oh no! Okay, <laughs> I'm loud. What was what, what what were the Japanese shooting at you? Mortars, rifle, you know? Uh, seventy-seven millimeter artillery. Okay. And mortars. Hmm. Whatever it was, they were, they were shooting. <laughs> well, did you have to ever, when you were taking the island, did you ever have to do a charge, or you just kind of slowly work your way? Just work your way. Just work your way. Yeah. How many men were with you? And a whole company, a battalion, or how many? Oh, a whole company of men. Okay. They were all together, and you moved slowly. Yeah. From what, from cave to cave, is that what it was? We started out with uh, 37 men and ended up with 13 in our company. And you're one of the 13th? Yeah. Well, you're lucky then. <laughs> Did you ever have a desire to, to go to Japan after the war was over? No. <laughs> you, wanted to get, you wanted to get home? No, I wanted to get home. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. Uh, any, anything else I'm missing we should be talking about? On well, Guam. They, they were met, they, they were, uh, they didn't have, they were cut off. He told me that many times. They were cut off different times that they didn't have nothing to eat for 36 hours. We went by where we were. You were cut off from what, supplies? From supplies, and uh, we were sur surrounded by the Japanese for 48 hours with no food or water. And they, 
And he tried dropping supplies to us, and they dropped the wrong place, and the Japanese ran out and grabbed it and ran out with it. So. <laughs> <laughs> and this was this was on Okinawa. <clears throat> yeah. So how did supplies finally get to you? Well, I, I don't remember how they a truck. I guess I don't know. So where did the Japanese go then? Well, they were we pushed them back. Oh. Well, they ate a lot of uh, kamori, tomato, anything that the natives. They ate a lot of a lot of their tomatoes and, <laughs> and you, the stuff that was growing there. You mean? Yeah. So the. The Japanese were pushed back, and you must have got supplied by truck. Yeah. Now, how often did you have a chance to get take a shower? <laughs> I don't remember taking a shower until after the war. <laughs> <laughs> my socks rotted right off my feet. That right? Warm I couldn't back. take your shoes off because if you did, you're gonna. If you had how would you like to get showers out of uh, cold water on sitting on ice? Sitting, standing well, on ice, that's what they had to do, I guess. It was in Korea there. Sitting on the ice? Or sit, standing. <laughs> now, why couldn't you take your shoes off? Because if you hey, if you get caught with a Japanese counterattack without your boots on, you're in trouble. Okay, that's so why. Counterattack, okay. <laughs> so you slept on them and everything? Slept everything on, yeah. With, with no time to change socks then? No. So how'd you, how'd you keep clean at all? Did you have to take a sponge bath or...? Well, it rained all the time, you know. Oh, okay. So you used the rainwater. <laughs> it rained constantly. Between oh. the rain and mud, you kept clean. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to call it some mud clean. <laughs> How in the world did you manage to walk through this mud all the time? Was I it deep know. mud? It deep mud, yeah. About ankle deep all the time. I don't think it rains anymore in any other place in the world in there. <laughs> oh, God. How did you fix all the food? Was K rations and K rations? Yeah. There wasn't time to fix anything with heat. No. You had to eat it and go. You had to take what you got, you know. Yeah, I suppose. Is there any th other battle you were involved in in Guam we should be talking about? Did you you you, you remember? No, I don't. Now hold on, you, you said you were pinned down for 10, what's that? Uh, we were, we were pinned, pinned, pinned down some days for 10 days straight. And there was uh, more artillery fired on that island than all the rest of the Pacific combined. Wow, what, what kept you pinned down? What? What kept you pinned down, the Japanese artillery? Yeah. What happened on the 11th day then? Well, we were out of ammunition and out of food, and, oh. and uh, I told the captain, I think, I see the, I think I, I see the, the Japanese spotters. So I fired one shot at 1,500 yards, and it hit right by between their heads, and they disappeared. And then the shooting stopped, so then we were able to move out. <laughs> Jeez. Just because you fired one shot? And, uh, and, uh, at the... Uh, Spotter, so we out there almost a mile away. I <laughs> took a chance on it. The captain says, Boy, that's doing pretty good. He said, It hit right between their heads. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See the spark on a big rock behind the head. Sure. So it's a kind of a. I ran into a machine gun three, four times. How'd you run like the Dickens to get out of there? <laughs> <coughs> so what happened next? Did you have him fire on the machine gun nest? There was a tank and he fired on them. I don't know if he hit him or not. But I was ordered to go in to burn out our village. And they said, alone? No, I'll send a man with you. And we, the machine gun opened up and he took off like a wild animal. And then was left the left alone there. So. I finally figured, figured I better get out of here too. <laughs> also, was a, a young fellow there on top of a hill and they opened up with the artillery and he jumped into a hole. There was some brush above the hole and I could see the brush moving and went over that close. And there was a down on top of the hill. The shell would go down into the bottom of the hill and explode. 
And there's a, for a few minutes I counted 65 shells and only two exploded. Because the rest are all wood. You, you use wood, the wood shells too, and they hit rock and just shattered slivers. <laughs> Japanese were firing wooden shells? Wooden, wooden shells, yeah. That's about all <laughs> I can remember. Robert, thank you for talking to me today. You're welcome. <laughs>